There is no doubt that when a biological man who has competed as a biological man for the first 20 something years of his life decides that they're going to identify as a woman and now compete with women in college swimming, that they have an inherent physical advantage. That's just the bottom line. That's just a fact. There's no discussion. So when Leah Thomas comes out here to break, quote, her silence and says, I don't have an advantage over anything. It's all about my state of mind. Everyone realizes that that is a fucking joke, but that's who this person is. This person is an absolute joke. And it's not really a surprise that ABC, also ESPN, are the ones that have this exclusive story from Leah Thomas. From Clay Travis, Penn's transgender swimmer has spoken. Despite having a clear competitive advantage swimming against women, claims there is no competitive competitive advantage. And of course, this is on the heels of yet another doctor confirming that in fact, Leah Thomas does have a competitive advantage. There might be some doctors who are afraid to say that, who are afraid to say biological facts, but that is the truth. Men are different than women. Men have different physical capabilities than women. They have larger hearts. They have broader shoulders. Like all these different things that go into play. And obviously having higher testosterone levels for the first 20 years of your life allows you to build a certain skeletal structure that women just don't have. But what is Leah Thomas saying? Well, something crazy, which makes sense for an insane person. Thomas started her senior year on the women's team, but her success in the water was met with outrage leading up to the NCAA championships. Her critics say she jumped in the rankings between the men's and the women's team. And there's well, her critics didn't just say that. That's the truth. Like Leah Thomas went from being an extremely mediocre college swimmer as a man to all of a sudden winning national championships as a woman. Isn't that strange? It's not something her critics just say. It's the facts. Some who look at the data and suggest that you're enjoying a competitive advantage. What do you I can't wait to hear the feminine voice of Leah Thomas. What do you say to that? There's a lot of factors that go into a race and how, how well you do. And at, at least pretend. Like, at least pretend to raise your voice or something like that so maybe some people find it believable. And the biggest change for me is that I'm happy. And sophomore year, um, where I had my best times competing with the men, I was miserable. And so having that be lifted is incredibly relieving and allows me to put my all into training into racing trans people don't transition for athletics that's clearly not the case you definitely did just that this is ridiculous this is insane but it's coming from a mainstream sports media and a person who are both insane the idea that well i have no competitive advantage because i'm racing against women even though i'm a biological man i just simply felt better about myself if you go back and you look at the data, when you look at Leah Thomas's best times ever as a man, because again, Leah Thomas is a biological man and competed as a biological man, they're fairly comparable as the best times that Leah Thomas had as a female. Why? You said you were in a better headspace. Why aren't they such better times now that you claim that you're a woman? This is insanity and everyone's laughing at this. The fact that Leah Thomas can't even admit that Leah Thomas has a biological advantage, has a competitive advantage swimming against females? Why should anyone listen to anything this person has to say? Ridiculous, but that's what this entire saga has been. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.